Gas prices will remain unchanged across the board as the finance minister made no mention of any increases during his budget presentation today. Meanwhile, energy revenue for the fiscal year 2020 is projected to come in at $16.23 billion, with growth predicted over the next three years. In this next report, we bring you the key announcements coming out of the energy sector from the finance minister's 2019-2020 budget presentation. The government predicts that over the next two years, revenue earned from the energy sector could climb by as much as $3.3 billion, with projections reaching as high as $19.53 billion in the year 2022. With the increase being driven by moderate increases in oil and gas prices and a greater degree of clarity and certainty in energy agreements with the upstreamers and downstreamers with the associated production uptakes. Natural gas production is expected to rise to 3.8 billion standard cubic feet per day in 2019. Thereby bringing natural gas supply closer to the peak demand of 3.9 to 4 billion standard cubic feet per day. The level of supply to keep our petrochemical plants and LNG trains at optimum operational efficiency. For comparison, the 2017 average stood at 3.36 billion SCF per day. Another noteworthy announcement, the government has received arrears and legacy payments to the tune of $1 billion and $1.9 billion from BPTT and Shell, respectively. Meanwhile, one year after the closure of Petrotrin and the subsequent opening of subsidiary companies, Minister Imbert announced the Heritage Petroleum Company is already on a successful path. This is a company less than a year old, Madam Speaker. Revenue of $3.287 billion in its first three quarters of operation, leading the company to register a net profit of $543.5 million. Shifting gears with the global energy market now demanding that countries make more concerted efforts towards sustainability, the finance minister unveiled measures designed to promote energy efficiency. We also intend to launch in 2020 a major program of replacement of all antiquated incandescent bulbs currently used in the 400,000 households in Trinidad and Tobago with modern energy efficient LED bulbs. <coughs> this will be done by government free of charge to households. Government will also conduct an audit of buildings occupied by government and state agencies to manage electricity and air conditioning on nights, public holidays and weekends.